Hi, I'm Stuart Henry from SMT Today. We're here at Apex uh, in Las Vegas. I'm joined with Steve March, who is the Managing Director for North America for TRI. Steve, good morning. Good morning. Good nice to, to meet you. you. Thank too. you for stopping by. Yeah. So, Steve, just tell us something about the products that you've got on range today. Okay. Well, we have several new products this year that we're introducing to the North America market. We have a new in-circuit test machine, a new AOI machine, and a new X-ray machine. I want to start out today, if it's okay, here with our in-circuit test platform. This is our TR5001. It's a Series 2 inline machine. So basically what this means is it's a fully automated in-circuit test platform with a conveyorized system and the boards come into the machine are, and are tested and then automatically sent out down to the next process. Um, what makes this machine unique is that we have the ability to have just over 4,000 hybrid test points and we're doing something unique in the industry that's called multi-core testing. What that does is it gives us the ability to test up to four boards in parallel at the same time. So it really cuts down on the test time and it increases your throughput. So this is something that uh, would be used in a fairly high volume environment. Okay. And um, in many times we have multiple machines in one line so that we can keep up with the uh, production rate. The system is new in terms of the software interface. It's been redesigned to uh, further uh, address ease of use and uh, programmability. So this is something that's unique in the marketplace and we're very happy to introduce it to the good, North American good. market. And it's, it's quite sleek also, uh, small footprint. Very small uh, footprint. And it, you know, you're, you're targeting productivity and efficiency. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Really good, yeah. and, and you know, it's, it's something where um, we don't see a whole lot of demand for inline testing in um, the North American market, but the places that we are addressing with this solution, floor space is important because yes. it costs them money. And uh, so we've done our best to uh, create the smallest footprint possible. Well, it looks as if you're meeting your customers' requirements. So We uh, indeed are. Really, we're doing that really and uh, trying to do that with all of our solutions. Okay. So Steve, we're standing in front of the TR7700QI. Uh, high position 2D, 3D AOI system, uh, which looks as if it's in the forefront of innovation. So could you tell us a little bit more about the machine? Yeah, this is our newest 3D introduction to the AOI market. And what we're doing is we have uh, four projectors that are implementing a fringe pattern technology. So this gives us the ability to actually measure solder joint volume. And we are really the industry leaders in breaking the 8 micron uh, resolution uh, threshold. So we were working in conjunction with Panasonic and actually testing parts that are 025, 0125 in, in diameter and very successfully with this machine. So it's something that we believe is going to be disruptive in the marketplace and drive other uh, suppliers to follow our lead. Okay, good, good. So you partnered with Panasonic to do uh, a bit of an analysis for the, the, the chip placement and... Uh, yeah, they've been kind enough to give us some sample boards okay. with these newer components yeah. that allow us to, like you said, check and make sure we are on the forefront of technology. So yeah. with this particular capability, um, you know, we're really leading the charge and breaking that 8, eight micron resolution barrier. Awesome. The other thing is that with traditional fringe pattern 3D technologies, component height is an issue. Typically your uh, threshold is about five to maybe eight millimeters in height. With our system, we have what we call adaptive range 3D. Okay. So we've solved that problem and can actually measure component height accurately up to 20 millimeters. So it looks as if TRI are listening to customer feedback and they're offering up a solution Definitely. Uh, for some of the issues that they see uh, within production. That's right, and we're also continuing to strive to make it easier to program, yep. to make the end results reliable, repeatable, and uh, you know just to continue to provide new technologies that are going to last and be able to grow with customer needs and expectations. And this is a really impressive interface also, really user-friendly. Very user-friendly. Um, we have all the 
software capabilities for data collection, yep. real-time process monitoring, and uh, all the tools that our customers require and what they need to make sure that they're manufacturing and shipping out quality products. Excellent. So Steve, the final, final machine today is a TR7600LL. Uh, so this is the X-ray machine, and again, it looks a really impressive piece of kit. Again, could you just tell you know, a bit sure. more about the machine? Yeah, so what we're really, this machine has been in our product lineup for a couple of years. What we've done is the industry is demanding CT technology. And normally what happens is you have to do some measurements and then calculate the CT measurements in an offline type of mode. But what we're really doing here is we're actually inspecting the product in real time, taking 2D measurements, 3D measurements, and CT measurements. And we're providing those images to the customer in real time. Those information gets sent to a repair station so that somebody who's dispositioning the boards has not only the 2D information and the 3D information, but now they also have the ability to capture the CT information in real time. Um, so here you can see we have a BGA that we're, that we're looking at, but this is what the CT information would look like for a plated through-hole device. So the customer has the ability to slice and dice this information however they want. They can rotate it in a real-time 360 degrees, and it really just makes the ability to disposition defects that more effective. So really what we're doing here is expanding our defect detection rate by providing the usage of CT in real time. So again, you're pushing the boundaries of innovation here and listening to customers and often up on a solution Indeed. that meets their requirements. That's real exactly time feedback trying. also, which right. is you know, right. you tremendous. Know, it's, it's one thing to have a solution that can say there's a pass or a fail, but what we're trying to do is to take that to the next level and provide our customers with real-time actionable information yep. to make sure that they're able to ship a very quality product to the end of their to their end customers. Excellent. Well Steve, this is a really impressive range of products you've got here. Thank uh, you very and much. I hope you all the best luck for the Thank you rest so much. of the Apex. Thank you very it's much. Good meeting you. Nice meeting you. Thank you. you. Thanks very much.